I definitely forgot about to say. But hey guys, um, thank you for coming back to my little, little. Hey guys, what's up? Gotta stop doing that intro, bruh. Hello. Dang it, how many times I have to do this freaking intro? Hey y'all, so today I'm going to be reviving my old wig or bringing it back to life, whatever you want to call it. I'm just going to be doing it because I was sick of it looking like a piece of, just a piece of crap in my closet. So here I am. Um, this is the final look if you want to, you know, see how I did it and all this other stuff. Keep on watching. And a key thing that I use is a steam flat iron or a steamer, mist, whatever you call it. But I use the Cotton Air um, Infinity Pro Hydro Silk one. I'll be showing it in the video. Um, it works very well. It has two seam settings. It has a low and it has a high. I use it on low. And the temperature of the flat iron was on 338. And yeah. So here is the wig before, looking all dusty, crusty, everything else. And I just sectioned the wig off into parts and I started combing from the bottom up or whatever. And here's the Infinity Pro Conair Hydro Silk Flat Iron that I use at 338. Now let me just tell you a little something about the flat iron. The flat iron has two steam or two mist settings. One is like high and one is low. I use it on low the entire time, mainly because the little water, um, the water compartment is not big enough to hold a lot of water so i didn't want to have to keep touching it while it's hot and putting more water in it so i kept it on low and i also put the combs that are on the back of the flat iron on high the combs on the flat iron help so this is it at the end of me flat ironing it see how bouncy and flowy it is for it to be a synthetic wig that i've had for a year now so i put it on my head trying to see where i wanted to cut it so i did want to make it shorter And then I put it back on the head and cut the rest of it. And this is me just trimming the lace. I felt like the front of the wig had that extra lace on it that I really didn't need. Because when I first got this wig, I didn't know how to cut lace. So I cut all the extra off. I plucked the part. Now the part on this wig is literally like... An inch and a half not even that it's about the size of the tip of my thumb so it's not really much I could do but to like tweeze it and try to make it work you know so I'm just gonna take my comb and part it and then flat iron the top to make it lay flat You know, honestly, this is like a really cute wig for me to have it for a year now. Even though it was like 24, 26 inches before I butchered it last time. This is a really cute wig to me. That's all for today's video, and um, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you actually have this flat iron or a steam flat iron of any sort, let me know. Um, I kind of want to see what kind people have and what everything all over his hair. But yeah, thank you for watching. Um, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Click the card at the top if you want to see what it was like on the first time I redid it. So yeah. Um, that's all I have to say. Uh, adios.